Welcome everyone to another edition of Endgame Finance. Today we have some exciting news about Rivian. Rivian has begun to scale production massively. In fact, these emails just went out. Rivian says thousands of R1T reservation holders will get their trucks within months. This is huge guys. So they are finally achieving scale production. They're finally pushing out vehicles. And this is very good news. Invitations to configure Rivian's electric truck with current available options will start going out soon, bringing an end to what was a really year-long journey of stalled production. Now, Rivian, like I mentioned, will not be offering every single specification that you can put on your truck. They will be pushing out vehicles that can be produced immediately, that can be produced right now, that can be on the streets within a few months, and these trucks will be on the streets within a few months. There will be thousands of new R1Ts driving around pretty much everywhere. This is extremely exciting because Rivian is finally focusing on becoming profitable. They're, they are ignoring a certain aspect of reservation holders which have some really high-end specific customization, but they are focusing on these trucks they can get out right now and they will be pushing out thousands of new vehicles within next few months. Now, this news follows an internal memo which, in which Rivian revealed they will actually hit possibly 62,000 vehicle units this year. This is pretty much what I predicted in my previous videos. I was expecting between 60-ish, 60 65 to 75,000 units and they will hit that mark this year. They recently raised over a billion dollars. This is most likely to ramp up this production. This is most likely to pay an additional shift. This is to focus, to just push out more product out there and for them to finally hit gross profitability next year. Today, Rivian has revealed they're actually talking with, they're speaking with Amazon to be able to sell their delivery trucks to other firms. They have an exclusive deal with Amazon to make delivery vehicles just for them. Amazon has delivered over 10 million packages with these vehicles. However, Amazon and Rivian made these deals in around 2018, 2019, before production ramp really started. This is before inflation was still uh, somewhat in control, before it really exploded, and before uh, bottlenecks for all the supply chains made the costs a lot bigger for Rivian. This was really a disadvantage for Rivian because they were they had these deals with Amazon, they had to honor these deals. However, because of the rising costs, Rivian was actually losing money on every single truck they gave to Amazon. And Amazon, Amazon had exclusivity. They were the only company that can buy Rivian delivery vans. This was a huge disadvantage for Rivian because like I mentioned, the cost to produce, the cost to manufacture, these vans went up significantly within the last three to four years. This put Rivian at a huge disadvantage. However, most likely Amazon will give them thumbs up to start making these vans for other companies, for UPS, FedEx, USPS, uh, DHL. There's so many customers that desperately want these vans. These vans are extremely efficient. They're extremely cheap to maintain compared to gas trucks. They don't have engines, they don't have transmission. Their tires don't get worn out as fast because of regenerative braking. Uh, regenerative braking actually puts the energy back into the battery when you're braking. So these trucks are extremely efficient. Everyone wants these trucks. And if Rivian is able to sell these trucks to other companies, they'll be able to sell them at a profit. So they'll most likely split the production giving half to Amazon at a loss and giving half to other, to other delivery companies at a huge profit, sort of bringing them on even. So this is a huge news for Rivian. Rivian is actually showing signs of life. RJ and the team are actually making good decisions. They're making decisions that will make the company profitable. They're making decisions that will make the company uh, still existent within a few years because they were at risk of bankruptcy, like I mentioned several times in previous videos. However, this looks extremely optimistic. Thousands of R1Ts are getting pushed out and these will most likely be sold at a profit because you can only buy these trucks if you configure them with available options. Available options are what's profitable for Rivian. So these trucks will be profitable. These trucks will be sold at a profit. 
as well like i mentioned the new delivery vans being sold to other companies will be sold at profit and this will all help rivian just ramp up production and actually make that production profitable for them guys this is great news for rivian i'm very excited stock price still might be wobbly within the next year or two however you have to be in this for the long term if you're going to be here at all if you're just here for the short time you shouldn't really be in here this is an extremely volatile startup this is a company i truly believe in this this is the company that's leading the way for uh for the green movement company it's actually reducing pollution this is the company that's helping the world transition from heavy fossil fuel use that are controlled by some pretty evil regimes out there in the world. Some pretty bad guys that don't really care about the environment, don't care about the world because you have 50 people that basically control companies that are making hundreds of billions of dollars. They don't care about the environment. They just care about getting 50 Lambos in their garage, having 20, 30 private jets. They don't care about the environment. However, Rivian is here now. Rivian is leading this transition alongside with Tesla, alongside with Ford. And these guys are just on the forefront of the green revolution. One last thing I want to mention about the Rivian Amazon deal. I really hope Amazon actually really follows through with this. Amazon is the largest shareholder in Rivian. So it makes sense that they will allow this, uh, this exclusivity deal to be broken because Amazon has been buying uh, electric vans from other companies. They've been buying e-transit from Ford. They had some orders from, from Dodge. So they were not bound to only buy from Rivian. However, Rivian, Rivian was bound to only sell to Amazon, which put them in a huge disadvantage. Like I said, they were selling at a loss. So that's it, guys. I'm really excited about Rivian stock. I'm really excited about the Rivian company. I will be a long-term shareholder in this company. And I have zero doubts that this company will actually deliver on their promises. Their trucks are amazing. Their pickup trucks, their SUVs, their delivery vans. It's a huge suite of products that's just amazing. And I am really looking forward to what this company will be in the future. This will be a potentially trillion dollar business. And I am really looking forward to being along for the ride. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know below and I will address them. As always, subscribe, like, and share. And guys, have a great day.